So I just posted a video the other day on composting meat and we were having a little bit of a discussion over composting in barrels and buckets and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show you the stopgap composter that I have here. This is a 55 gallon drum with a lid on it. So it's animal proof for the most part. Look at that, all this material is in here rotting down. There's a lot of little life working on it, you know. Um, but it's actually been filled with their meat scraps in there and bones and kitchen scraps. And I am gonna dump a few buckets in right now and top this sucker off. Now all we gotta do is wait. I have done this before. I was doing this on the empty lot near our house and it's, it works. I mean, sometimes the stuff is too dry and it doesn't all break down and of course you can't turn it easily or anything, but it seals it up and it keeps the dogs out of it, keeps the rats out of it and it will rot down in there over time. And what you do is after time, you know, the bottom of it gets all anaerobic and messy and whatever, but eventually you just dump it out um, and you take out the good stuff and whatever didn't break down, you just throw it into another pile or throw it back in. It works, it's not ideal, but it is a containable compost pile. 55 gallon drum composting. Do you throw banana peels in the trash? Are your coffee grounds also being thrown in the trash? Do you compost ham? <laughs> Are you sick and tired of all the rules about composting? Do you wish you could compost in a super easy way? And stop throwing things in a landfill? And stop being a terrible person? Click on the link below and sign up and get my new composting booklet, which shows you how to compost easily and simply with hardly any, any work at all. It's insane how easy it is because it follows natural principles. Sign up now. Quantities are not limited.